copy both answers, and then and then we have Cloud to be the judge. Some of you may already heard Meta just released this Lambda 3.1, the open source AI model. They have the model available in three different sizes. They are 8B, 70B, and 405B in terms of the number of parameters. A chart of how this model compared to other previous models, and you can see uh, for different tasks here, I'm going to explain at the end of the video what those means. Um, it's pretty Pretty good. We'll try it out and we'll see if it's actually this good. Today we're going to try out the biggest version on their own website, uh, Meta AI. So if we click here, this platform already has their model Lama 3.1 built in. Let's first get a list of questions. We're going to use cloud. The cloud AI is giving us a list of questions. Uh, let's try this one. And if we go to Meta AI, and this is Llama 3.1, we'll just copy and paste the question, the math problem here, and then, oh, it's pretty good. So it gives us the answer six, which is correct because three times six plus seven is 25. But actually, let me try to plug it into ChatGPT. Now we have the version of 4.0 because I'm a member. I paid 20 bucks for this. Um, okay, so it seems that it's an easy question. I can answer it, ChatGPT can answer it, and Meta Llama 3 can also answer it. Let's try a harder one. Um, let's go back to cloud. And this time, let's try this question. You have a bag with three red marbles, four blue marbles, and five green marbles. If we draw two marbles without replacement, what's the probability of drawing a red marble followed by a blue marble? It's a probability problem like one could solve in middle school, high school. Um, okay, so let's paste it in. It says, let's break it down step by step. Okay, I'm not going to read all of these. Llama 3.1 gives us this answer. And let's check out ChatGPT. Okay. Wow. Look at all the colors. And also, it gives you like step by step explanation. It sort of helps. Let's see if Meta AI has explanations too. Okay, it's just not that visualized with very good format, but hopefully they both give the same answer, so I don't need to double check. Oh, nice. So they both answer the question. Okay, let's try a difficult one. It seems that this one is the most difficult of the set. <laughs> okay, derivative. Uh, this is not too hard. I remember I could solve it when I was in high school. So let's see if Meta can do it. Okay, that's a lot of explanations. It sounds right. Okay, so both of them answer correctly. We tested some math problems. We're gonna also try out the writing. Okay, <laughs> let's try this one and then ask Cloud to judge which one is better. Let's try this. Okay, it says write a story about 150 words that includes the following elements. A lost key, a talking animal, and an unexpected thunderstorm. And then Llama 3 gives this story. As I searched the backyard for the lost key, my furry companion, blah 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 the squirrel, okay? And friendship strengthened. Okay, that, that looks like a happy ending story. Okay, so that's for Llama, and then for ChatGPT, let's try the same prompt, write a short story. Okay, and then ChatGPT says, in the quaint village of Elderville, blah blah blah, okay, lost the key, and then the fox asked, hmm, and then the fox sort of led Emma to the place, and then they found the key. You know what? Copy both answers and then and then we have Cloud to be the judge. It seems that both AI models are able to compose a story that contains those elements, no minus points. <laughs> Let's just push Cloud to pick one. 
and say you must pick one. Okay, see how Cloud responds. Actually, we're testing three AIs here. Okay, it says, I'll choose the first one as my favorite. Okay, which is the first one? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I also picked the first one, right? Uh, I also picked the ChatGPT one. Yeah, that, that was by ChatGPT. Okay, but let's see what Cloud says. Here's a brief explanation why the first story has a more developed fantasy element. Yes, I like fantasy and a strong sense of mystery and wonder. Yeah. The second story relies more on a talking animal. It's a lighter, more casual tale. Mm, yeah, I agree. But yeah, it's just so amazing to see that both AIs can actually come up with something. And let's do another thing. Okay, technical writing. Wow. This is a hard one. Write clear step-by-step -step instructions for how to change a flat tire on a car. Okay, I have no idea. Uh, we probably need some tools to do that. Um, but let's just give it to both language models. Okay, this one looks right. Yes, we need the lug nuts. And let's try ChatGPT. Okay. Oh, ChatGPT even gives you the materials needed and then followed by steps, which is really neat. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, wait. They also have some tips, okay? But I kind of like ChatGPT ones more. It's just more straightforward. Apparently, I need those materials, I guess. And it's also longer, means more mm, details. Additional tips, I like that too. It sort of <laughs> serves as a disclaimer. Let's try another task. Uh, let's do this. Summarize the plot of Romeo and Juliet in no more than 50 words. I mean, it's a long story, so... Give it to Lama 3.1. It says in Verona to rival families, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I feel, I feel like this is gonna get close. And then we... Give the question to ChatGPT. And ChatGPT answers in the more comprehensive style. It mentions the author. It summarizes like using just one sentence. And it used the word despite to indicate a logical relationship between the subplots. So I would personally say it's a better summary, but let's ask Cloud. Actually, let me just copy the same thing into Cloud and see how Cloud will answer it. That's us comparing three AIs. Cloud also summarizes like two founding families in Verona, Romeo and Juliet, blah, blah, blah. My conclusion would be Lama is really good at doing math, but just from the existing problems, like really simple high school questions, we don't observe a big difference there. And back to this chart, we could see that Lama claims itself to outperform. Let's take a look at what exactly those benchmarks are. For example, MMLU. We can find the data set here. It's measuring massive multi-text language understanding. And I download it here so we can check. For example, if we open high school biology, it composes of some multiple choice questions. So there are five questions and then one, two, three, four, basically the choice of A, B, C, D. And then here are the answers. You could see like global facts or high school computer science, even machine learning. <laughs> What's that? Okay, so what image data augmentation is most common? Yeah, so all of those questions uh, was the first data set. It says, well, GPT, Omni was the best, Lambda was really close. And in terms of creative writing, I would say I still like ChatGPT's style. It's very clear and it even gives logical relations between the different parts of its answers. However, uh, our test, because it's only a few questions that we picked randomly from a list generated by another AI, 
I would say this is more like for fun and to test out to see through our eye of how AI will perform. It, it should not be viewed as a comprehensive experiment. Yeah, we still saw that Lambda 3.1, the newest model of Meta, could do a lot of things, and that's really exciting. We totally want to see the future potentials of those AI models. Okay, let's just stop here and see you next one.